All right, I made it. I'm in San Francisco. Well, I'm in the Bay Area. I'm about an hour away from San Francisco where I came in. My rental car, it's pretty sweet. Today, check this out. This is Jake. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for meeting up with yeah, me, yeah. man. I was an hour late <laughs> showing up today. <laughs> no worries. So thank you so much. San Francisco traffic is no joke. But this is our first mobile toolbox tool. Truck. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. <laughs> Goodness. This seems a lot bigger than like your typical yeah, service truck. Yeah, pictures don't do it justice, no. for real. Um, oh, that's huge. The company is kind of cool about it. They let me order my own truck and No way. Go. So you built it? Yeah. Like well, I, I didn't build the whole thing. I just designed it. Like, I got the taller boxes on the on the driver's side. The Miller Impact, which does everything. The air compressor, welding, the hydraulics for the crane, all that kind wow. of stuff. I got the four-door truck because I have, like, my diagnostic equipment in the back seat and stuff like that. So why did you want taller on the on the driver's side? Well, I mean, I'll show you. Okay. Uh, it's just being like a mobile repair guy for the for the most part when you're doing just repairs on the side of the road, you, you mostly fill it with tools, but being with a company, you need parts and stuff too. Oh, I see. And so I wanted to have a lot more drawers and then have the ability to have more like parts and stuff on on the truck as well. Man, that is sweet. So what type of boxes are these? These are C-Tech. C-Tech. So Palfinger is actually the the body builder. Okay. And I got the Pal Pro 39, but um, a company called Tinnick out of Iowa built it for me. You said there's like a crane? Yeah, I got a crane on that side. I have the roll up, the roll up door back here so I can just, the whole bed will close in so like the rain and everything won't oh, get on my man. creeper or anything like that on my That's drain pans. so nice. I got lights all through here and you might not be able to see it right now, but. That should do it. Yeah. So you can kind of oh, see yeah. it, the bed lights and everything That's in there. That's sweet. Kind of lights everything up. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like getting close to sunset. So maybe. Well, yeah, we, we might through. get some light shots or yeah, something. Yeah, that's but. cool. Um, so do all the doors have that lighting that goes around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they are, they're all in there. So what type of work do you typically go out to repair? Um, well, I work for uh, this company. Okay. And uh, so it's just their trucks. It's fuel trucks and oil trucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we do like a lot of wet hosing, um, oil delivery any, from floor sweep to your 1540s and all the other oils you got, coolant, oh, nice. def, bulk def deliveries. Big partner with Chevron. So oh, okay. most of their products. Okay, back here I just got, I got a scan tool. I don't, I only use this on like my Freightliners and stuff most of the time, the ProLink. ProLink, so, okay. Just huh. like Bendix and stuff like that. So I have my laptop for Insight, which most of my trucks are Cummins. Oh, okay. So it'll be Insight on there on my laptop, and then I use that for like Bendix and huh. Allison and stuff like that. Man, it's so organized. I love that. Yeah, I'll forget what's in the cases if I don't write it down. Yeah. Like if I don't have them the right That's way or sweet. something like that. <laughs> Rethreading kit, extractors, the adapters for all the big trucks and stuff for your... Um, Radiator pressure tester. Oh, okay. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Hydraulic wrenches, these just Harbor Freight ones. Nice. The air operated uh, radiator pressure tester kit. And so all these tools you're, you buy yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. These are these yeah. are all mine. Okay. I mean, the, the shop will help out with like replacing batteries and, mm. you know, like if a, if a drill goes bad or something like that. Like I just got one of my snap on drills back. This is a pretty cool wheel seal kit. I'm going to take three things out to get it worn out. So this is for the big, the big wheel seals and stuff, but oh, it's the geez, snap on yeah. one. Okay with the uh, instinct handle and everything. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. So how long have you been doing mobile? I graduated from school 2014, so 10 years now. Oh, 10 years. So you've been doing this the whole time you've been doing uh, Yeah, I was in ag, ag for a year or two. Okay. Well, I, I was in ag for a year, I switched to on-road, so I've been doing it like nine, 10 years now. I and mean, most of it was all mobile before I had like a big box truck and then I went all the way from like 1500s and stuff with a toolbox in the back to something like this. And this has been the the nice one being able to design it all. That's sweet. But I just got all my standard wrenches. Okay. I got teched on or teched in or however you say it. I got a few of the double-ended snap-on, oh, ratcheting nice. wrenches, stubby gear wrenches, long gear wrenches. What kind of organization is this? The toolbox? The toolbox widgets. Toolbox widget. okay. Oh, dude, they don't move either. They're great. That is sweet. I like Do they them. have magnets on them? Yeah, on the bottom of on them. On the bottom, okay. Nice. And that's all just metric. I don't okay. do a ton with metric. 
nowadays you're getting a little bit of both in the trucks and stuff oh, so gotcha. it's good to have them Man, screwdrivers solid set and i love that is it the high vis high vis dude i'll get anything high vis that i can <laughs> yeah nice thing is my uh brother-in-law is my snap-on dealer so no way. yeah yeah so i try to that's a sweet try to get deals or something but if he's got a deal on other colors like the straight pry bars and stuff yeah i'm a sucker for a deal if it's a different color that's awesome the picks and stuff like i can consolidate all this stuff with the toolbox widgets to make more room but yeah i like knowing if i'm missing something sure yeah. especially in the service trucks i'll I'll leave sockets everywhere. And really? Yeah, I'm bad about it, but like these are all just extensions, wobbles, snap on. Nice. And I see you got a lot of these like desiccant packs. Yeah, they, I mean, they'll seal up these trucks as best they can, but the moisture still, like you'll see it on some of my, um, actually on like a lot of my wobble sockets. You know, oh, that yeah, that surface rust and stuff. Sure. So Damn. I try and keep those around. All the regular sockets are gear wrench. Okay. I got like a brake chamber socket from Snap-on. It's a little longer three quarters. And then I got Mac wobbles and Snap-on wobbles. Nice. What kind of... This, uh, this is a Snap-on like carry tray kind of oh, thing. Okay. And I took the things off and cut them and stuff like that. And then I just like them because they, they stay in place. And then you have to twist to unlock them and bring them out. Oh, okay. Otherwise, they won't come out. Gotcha. So And then a few different ratchets I keep in here. Oh, man. You do like the high vis. That's I scary. like the high vis, man. Yeah. All my uh, Snap-on like cordless those are all high vis really? too well most of them yeah 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 oh, that's awesome do you have a go-to ratchet in there that you uh, these guys my quarter and the three eighths oh, nice. i like these handles? handles man yeah these ones are nice that's sweet but i mean if i need to get on something i'll use that okay. i have nice. a few half inches and stuff but for the most part these are my these are the two i grabbed the most awesome i like this long quarter inch oh yeah yeah, yeah with that's the awesome. wobble head and it's yeah. got the locking on it too so i like that when your hands are all greasy Oh yeah. They comes off easier, sure, yeah. man, for sure. And I, I got this one. I didn't think I was really ever gonna use it. I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but mm -hmm. this thing comes in handy sometimes. Does it? Yeah, when you're just trying to reach into a spot. Nice. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but justifying the purchase. But. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all metric. Okay. More wobbles and stuff. Some uh, and some of the bigger uh standard sockets, nice. adapters and stuff. That's sweet. So is this just all oh, this is the same? socket uh, organization yeah 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 i just put two rows of them in here nice. and then this is all gear wrench like i said and, and then these are the wobbles are snap on and stuff and then oh, i nice. got the the snap on these are for like knock sensors the re-threading oh, okay those things are nice. you're going through those all the time like knock sensors and stuff i actually keep them on the truck too because those things go out all the time i like how these have like a latch system. oh yeah they'll, they'll stay in i mean i don't think they, yeah they don't lock out oh, okay so some of them will actually lock out but what's nice is they won't just come out on you they they're in place right there. That's sweet. And this is the, the Milwaukee drawer. I'm a red guy. So I got the ratchets, half inch mid, the three eighths mid, three eighths snubby guy, the straight grinder, 90 grinder. I got the big boy half inch. <laughs> I got a drill and just a normal little impact. Is this half inch, the mid? The yeah, I have the half inch mid and I have the half inch three eighths. Nice. And honestly, I think they're like 50 pound torque difference. So really? yeah, I was like, I, I looked at that after I bought it, but I'm like, oh, what, they're running a deal on it. Nice. and get some batteries and stuff. So yeah. this seems like what you need the most is the batteries. <laughs> this one's actually pretty cool too. I don't know, the yeah. refillers, the coolant refillers. So that's for the vacuum fill. So like the new trucks with the EGRs and stuff, you're supposed to vacuum film so there's no air bubbles. So you hook this up to air and, and th put a vacuum on the actual truck or whatever you're working on and, and fill it up that way. And it actually makes it a lot easier than holding the jug or whatever right. on top of it. You can just fill up a five gallon bucket with coolant and fill it up that way. <laughs> uh, Healy coil kit, okay. uh, slide hammer, Dutch connector kit, weather pack and Dutch connector, the, the pliers for that, quick disconnect tools, serpentine belt tool, hose cutoff kit to like stop flow of stuff, relay buddy. Uh, this is a crimp connector for like battery cables, the hydraulic cable connectors. Oh nice, yeah. Polar sets, all that kind of stuff. I think everyone's got this thing too, the, the blue point. The, all the oh, Allens and yeah. Torx bits. <laughs> the, Is that a flashlight there? That... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I actually found this on one of my trucks. Oh, no way. Yeah, it was sitting there for like two weeks. It's pretty, pretty good little <laughs> find, dude. Nice. I'd return it. I don't know whose it is, but I'm rocking it for now. There you go. Is that um, your go-to then? No, my go-to is usually, oh, I don't even have my pocket. Streamlight wedge. Oh, I keep it in the nice. pocket, but yeah. I also have lights on the other side that I go to. I just keep one on this side just in case. Gotcha. Same thing with tape measures. Okay. Keep them on both sides. Um, UV light, multimeter, got this thing from school. 
It's still rocking. Nice. Heat gun, soldering iron, cordless um, fuse tester. That's kind of nice, like you are the ground. Oh yeah. Sure. So you don't have to hook, any, hook anything up. And then like a um, bore scope, air hammer, just a cheap thing of chisels, bits for the air hammer. Nice. And I got the burr bits. And then these are a cool extractor too for some of those big bolts and stuff that you got to drill out and try and get them out oh yeah and then a snap on punch set and the brass punch set and then i got these guys too for doing uh like make your own gaskets and kind of stuff like that oh, yeah so i'm not too familiar with mobile stuff like how involved can a does a repair typically get like i mean if they're like well normally like you're just trying to get them off the road right you're trying to get okay. them back to the shop gotcha. or if you can just change something real quick like a couple components break like leaking brake chamber or something like that you can get them back and going you I know a, you. a radiator hose blows or something like that huh. try and get them up and going but for us we just have like so many different locations i have a span of like 200 miles oh, and so i don't want to have to go to those truck figure out what's wrong with it go get the part somewhere go back <laughs> yeah. to the truck you know what i mean <laughs> so suck. yeah so it, it's more of like make sure you have it with you kind of thing like for i'm sure. trying to put as much as i can in here like all the different wired gauges and all that kind of stuff i oh, try yeah. and keep all that in here rewired if i need to or whatever i'm not rebuilding anything out in the field like you can come back to the yeah, uh, you know i'll get you towed like... to the shop and that's the same thing like working for this company you know most repair guys are like go 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 and here it's like since it's our fleet do it right do it yeah. right the first time take your time with for it sure. kind of thing um terminal disconnect tools these are all just like a cheap Amazon trim tool kit, but it's been great. Uh, Blue Point bits. These are extract stud extractors. Oh, okay. So it's got the biting bits, yeah. biting teeth in there. And just some little Blue Point uh, in case you can't, like, especially like um, shifter housings uh -huh. underneath the dash and stuff. You can't get a drill and stuff in there, so I'll use one of those things uh -huh. on there. Okay. And then the, it's like the junk drawer, I guess. You got the little screwdrivers, the picks and stuff. Nice. I really like the foam, but. Foam's not great for a service truck. It takes up too much room. It does, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Couple little pockets, pry bars and stuff. Disconnect tool for coolant lines and death lines and stuff like that on okay. the Cummins. Uh, it's kind of messy too. And um, you gotta be prepared for everything then, I guess. Oh, I mean, I'd rather have it and not need it, right? right or yeah. <laughs> justify the purchase somehow with one build or one job yeah. or something like that. But yeah, just have all the pliers you can. I got the long snap on, the blue point hose ones, hose cutoff ones, scissors even, make your gaskets and stuff. And then these are my other pliers, mostly yeah, snap on. I got a couple of clients in here, like the small, like LED wiring and stuff like that. Or like, oh, we yeah. have meters on our truck, so that's all super fine LED wiring. So okay. those strippers work great for that. Otherwise I'll use these guys just make it quicker are these the same toolbox widget well, toolbox widget yeah man. Okay. are guys. these made for the pliers or yeah they make them for pliers they make them for wrenches they make socket trays and stuff uh, really? too okay yeah so i mean really it's just find the one that fits gotcha. right so like the bigger guys you'll throw those in there and i haven't really i just got these not what too long ago these are for like the like electrical and kind of stuff like super fine oh yeah I just got, huh. I just picked these up. So still, still yet stuff. to use them. Cool little cutters and stuff in it too. Oh yeah. But yeah, nice. we'll see. I'll use them and I'll feel good about buying them. <laughs> I love these things, dude. Like the, what they call them the nickel pliers. Yeah. They pick them up with a nickel. I love those things. Yeah. Uh, just hammers, a couple punches. Cool. I got this set off of Amazon too, man. And then more Milwaukee. This is the uh, RTV guns, what I put in it, okay. but it's like a caulking gun or oh, yeah, yeah. a grinder, a rivet tool. This thing makes life so much easier with rivets. Does it? Yeah, on boxes instead of hand doing them every oh, time. Oh, yeah, okay. The sawzall. And then I got my three quarter inch snap on down here, too. Oh, geez, that's a big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bad day when I gotta get that out. <laughs> then I'm gonna be sore. <laughs> and then the, now we're getting more towards like parts and kind of stuff. So I got like the miscellaneous bins in here. I put these in here, put some plywood down, screwed them in, and then we made some, uh, these things were s sliding open all the time and smacking my doors. Oh, no. So I got some gate hinges and just welded this up oh, and screwed them genius. down in there to keep them from moving. Yeah. So I got a bunch of bolts, fuses, terminal connectors, grinding discs. These are all hose clamps, air fittings, weather pack connectors, Deutsch connectors, pins and stuff, screws, a lot of air fittings. I mean, a lot of these trucks too, they'll get stopped at the scales air leaks and stuff like that. So oh. you'll have to go out there and uh, you know find a leak, take all the fitting and all that kind of stuff. So I got bigger wrenches right here. Uh, this is my three quarter. I love this thing, dude. It's like a, <laughs> was it easy red? But it's like the extended oh, one. Oh yeah. I put some torque on it too. I haven't, I've heard some people breaking them and stuff, but 
I mean, I don't use it that often, yeah. but when I do, it's nice. I've used this big boy for hammering out uh, races and stuff too. Jeez. So that thing is cool. And then this is a wrench extender. Okay, that's the biggest wrench That's the wrench big extender. one they got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goodness. I think I'll break the wrench before I get whatever's <laughs> loose on it that I need to get loose yeah, anyway. Well, uh, these are long. See, then you start looking for room to put stuff. Mm -hmm. These are the long uh, picks. With the uh, snap ring pliers. These are where my half inch ratchets are. Oh, nice. You know, like the longer longer ends for my uh, air my air hammer. These are Icon. Those things are actually pretty nice. Are Changing they? air fittings underneath the cabs and stuff. I mean, I haven't put crazy torque on them, but like air, air fittings under the cabs and stuff is what I use those mostly oh, for nice. or that kind of thing. And it, it works great. I got the, the Sun X. Uh, Oh, they're falling out everywhere. The Sunek like offset wrenches. Oh, like the so those are good for like okay. power steering and stuff like that. Trying to get to those. Hold up your window when you're doing a window regulator. Uh, this is to help like rethread your threads on a, um, so you're doing like a wheel bearings or wheel seal or something like that, and the threads on the axle get all screwed up. It's just a pretty much a big rethreader. Put that on the hub and huh. clean up the threads a little bit. Oh, so you can change out the yeah the whatever thread, thread pitch it's going to be. You got different options right there. Uh, this is for slack adjusters adjusting brakes on the big trucks and oh, stuff. Okay. Big half inch uh, extensions. And then I have that transmission one too. Oh, nice. The, oh, it's a locking one, that's sweet. It's a locking three eighths and a half inch drive. Oh man. So you can put some torque on that thing. Yeah, yeah I, I like the, the locking part. Cause like you give it some power and something goes loose. You don't have like- Yeah, or even putting the crow's feet underneath the cab. Oh, like, or like okay. you put the crow's feet underneath the cab on that. And then yeah. all of a sudden you're like trying to break something loose and it just falls off and oh. you don't hear it hit ground. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, I gotta find that thing now. Good thing it's Herb Freight, I'll leave it. <laughs> this is just a, this is for like blown out air filters, but I blow, use it for blown out radiators. I have a few trucks that like out in the field and stuff like that. So they get pretty dusty. Oh, okay. And oh, so that the I, ones with like the airs coming out the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll I have a case on it, but it'll come out oh, right okay. there. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just blow out the radiators and stuff with that. Yeah. It makes it nice. Yeah, I guess those radiators get clogged up. Oh, uh, right? especially ours when they're sitting out there regening and fans blowing and they're just sitting in a field of dust and everything. Oh, okay, so. Yeah. And then we got man, all I love the, these lights though. Yeah, it makes it so much nicer in the dark, man. Before I'd have like a flashlight in my mouth or on my shoulder uh, or something, or like a lot of time you can't even magnetize it to the doors or anything. So you just be, no. I'd sit here right here with it and try and open up everything. So that was definitely a, a something I wanted to have in on the, on the truck. Yeah. And this is like, you just got switches and blades and more extension cords and emery cloth. So does this stuff ever get like jolted around? like? If you keep it packed tight enough, no. And then okay. I try and keep stuff in here and like it might come forward or back a little bit, but okay. they don't usually, as long as you keep it full and tight, no, uh, nice. like it'll, it'll stay in there. This is like, and this is where you start getting the parts. Like we got printers in our trucks. We have to give customers print uh, receipts and stuff, you know? So like oh, okay. that kind of stuff, buttons for our hose reels, seals for a lot of our hose reels and stuff like that. PTO nice. switches, uh, more stuff. I think there's a pressure differential switch. Those go bad all the time. Gaskets, that kind of thing, radiator caps. Not too much solenoids and stuff. Packing glands. Clips for the metering systems. I feel like a plumber half the time because all the <laughs> pumping systems and stuff. Yeah. More stuff like clamps and stuff. And then there's your fittings for cam locks for all of our hoses and stuff like that. Oh, jeez. what I mean for being a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> more parts i got bags i'm bad at, like if i take stuff apart i won't re like i'll remember where it goes but i don't like putting it on a pile so i have a bunch of these bags like oh, big bags nice little too. bags and stuff i'll throw all the bolts in there yeah that's in their knock sensor those are those glasses for the infrared more parts buttons kind of thing and then this is like axle uh bearing nuts and all that kind of stuff and i got like bigger sockets in here too these are one inch drive there we go oh okay yeah yeah. So when you're tearing down a truck, like on the side of the road or something, do you just put all the parts like on the ground? Or, like, I usually use this workbench, man, oh, okay. as much as I can. Yeah. Um, I'll throw some in the, I'll put the bed down, put as much as I can back there too. Oh, okay. It just depends on what you're doing. A lot of time you can, like I said, you're not, you're not tearing apart trucks completely out there. Sometimes you will, but then other, when you're doing that kind of stuff, like a clutch or something out in the field, you'll, you'll put all that stuff on the truck, you know, oh, like okay. stash it all on the bed or something like that of the actual truck when you're doing so it that way. So you do way. like a whole clutch? I don't, I haven't in years, man. Okay. All my new trucks are automatics. It's, <laughs> oh, yeah, because we can't find drivers that do manuals anymore. So <laughs> oh, I've been man. buying all automatics. Uh, what is that? And it's just, a, it goes all the way through. So I just got some like metal oh, and stuff in here. Like some long stuff? Some super long zip ties. Oh, nice. When you're doing like full bundles of hoses and stuff on the frame rails. Yeah. 
It must have been really cool to design this stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was pretty. It was kind of like already set, but then you kind of like, like I said, you mess with it. Like, do you want short boxes, tall boxes? Okay, do you want the yeah. pass through? Do you want what kind of stuff do you want? How do you want to run the crane? Do you want it to be electric, hydraulic? You know, how do you want the air compressor set up? And I didn't want to run it like normal, where they'll run a PTO off the truck, and so you'll have, your truck will have to be running the whole time. Oh, okay. And with the way you know, get all California and everything, like all the emissions and everything. I don't want my truck getting all gunked up and everything just sitting and idling all day. For sure. So right. I just run that in pack. I think it's a little Kubota motor. That thing, it's plumbed right into my diesel tank, so I don't need to fill it up or anything like that. I just push a button, it fires right up. Nice. And then run my air and everything off of that. Oh, so this is like a hose that you just pull? Yeah, air hose coming to back. And then I have a whip for it too, because that's a, the big for the big gun. Oh, okay. And then I'll just plug in uh, got a little whip right here. That I'll oh, plug nice. into it. That's sweet. Nice Wilton, dude. And then it's got the pipe vise on the inside, oh, too. Yeah. Doing a lot of, like I said, plumbing work, it seems yeah, like. Sweet. And then this whole bed cover will come back and cover the whole bed. Mm. I don't have to worry about covering everything up. My creeper got destroyed with my last service truck. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, just, just water. <laughs> see what I mean, right? Yeah. And then this is like the the hub for the uh, the crane and stuff. I mean, this is actually Wait. like one of their baby cranes. It doesn't do too much, but that's what I mean. I'm not doing engines and stuff out oh, there. Okay. I'm picking up radiators or pumps or air compressors or stuff like that, like oh, okay. fuel pumps and stuff. That makes so sense. I'm not doing crazy jobs out there, but I mean, it does, especially like lift gates that break and stuff. I'll have oh, cables yeah. snap. And so I'll just use that to pick up the end of it, that snap oh, nice. and fold it back up and bring it back to the yard and change it all out. Realistically, like 1400 pounds out of it. Oh man. So it's not bad. So I mean, does I'll, it like extend? Oh yeah, yeah, it goes 15 feet out. What? Yeah, and so this this thing will come. Well, we can show you. I think it goes all the way out. Oh jeez. It's kind of overkill for this small of a crane, but I also don't <laughs> want my bed tweaking or anything. Sure. Yeah, that that Miller runs the uh, the crane, the hydraulics, the uh, the inverter. Um, the uh, air compressor, and I have it setting up. I have it set up in here too. Oh no way! So this is another thing I had like kind of designed too. That's sweet. of uh, like you can plug in your big grinders and stuff in here. Okay. Your 220 in here. Like I can run like our yard pumps and stuff with it when I'm dogging those kinds of things. Nice. And then I got you know it's a jumper box. So I got this for uh, that that goes straight into that for uh, like grinders and stuff. And then this for my computer when I'm doing dog on trucks and okay, stuff. Okay. Yeah. And then I can jump other trucks from here with my cables. Oh, man. And then this is the ports for my welder. It's a little stick welder. Okay. And then these are my, actually my favorite lights. The, the oh, snap-on yeah, little sweet. puck lights, and they yeah. all come together like that right there and charge up right there. Oh, and so I, that's a charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this oh, whole thing's sweet. a charger for it. Oh, it's man, got that's three sweet. of them right there. And this whole thing's just magnetized to it, so I can take the whole thing with me if oh, I want. Oh, man. And then this inverter's actually ran off the truck separately. Okay. So I can charge all my batteries and stuff without having to run that thing. Oh, okay, gotcha. But uh, I'll kick, I'll kick the crane out if okay, you yeah. wanna. I'm excited. Damn. All right, so that's as far as it goes. Oh, that's crazy. But at that <laughs> far, you can't lift up too much weight. But oh, okay, yeah. It's still, I mean, I could probably still lift up a drum and stuff and throw it in the back of the truck if I need okay. to do that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's so sweet yeah that, that miller is nice man i mean it charges the truck while it's on um, oh really yeah it's its own little diesel engine it'll charge the truck huh. it's got my air right there the hydraulics everything uh charge up a battery whatever you need it to do so this is like a control center for that yeah that controls that impact uh, that's okay. all that's for and then my hose reels in there and i got all the flood lights and stuff too i don't oh geez so you can light up everything too that's sweet and then this is this is all parts really air hoses coolant hoses the most common parts that fail oh, okay. a lot of gaskets and seals chains pump rebuild kits or the the seal rebuild kits on the mains for them um these are just more clamps and nozzles and stuff like that exhaust clamp a whole bunch of lights <laughs> a whole drawer of lights man seems like every truck's got different lights on them belts wipers lift gate parts stuff like that there's just more parts right here the milwaukee vacuum if you're doing like intake grid heaters and stuff like that and you don't want a bunch of schmeg going down in uh, there yeah yeah i'll suck it all out first or try and blow it out with the air gun first and then come back through and i just don't want to have anything going down in the intake stuff like that grease more lights filters this is like three quarter inch sockets oil filter stuff I've got the electric grease gun then my one inch guns down below nice bottle jack that kind of stuff i got big bolts in that bag this is all my welding gear. 
Okay. Got the rods and the helmet and everything in there too. Nozzles. When I forget the creeper or something like that, it's a big like snap on mat that you can what? lay down on. That's sweet. yeah, it's pretty cool. That'd be nice. Still like wet. Yeah, I was in a puddle, so I put this thing down and saved me. That's you get all wet, nice. but it's like a knee pad slash lay pad kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, that'd be nice for at the house. Like, <laughs> Saves the knees at least. Yeah. Crane so it. how do you, do you like being mobile? Because like, I guess you're out there by yourself. Yeah, but I mean, I'm here by myself too. So oh, it, it's you? the same thing. It's nice being able to have what you need when you go down there instead of like, you have a driver call you with some issue, you have to go down there and look and then, and then go get the parts, go get the tools and come back. It's nice just having it with you going down there and you might need to, at this point, like I've been here long enough where you kind of like, okay, what's, you know, walk through with the driver mm -hmm. and you kind of know what's going on with it and then go down there and or to get the parts before you go down there, you know? Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, yeah I like it so far. I only yeah. got like 30,000 miles on it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Blew the tranny at 3,000 miles though. What? How yeah, did that brand, happen? Brand, it's Ram, man. Yeah. Brand new truck. Come on. <laughs> that it's heavy. This, this, this truck's pretty heavy, man. It's like yeah. 18,000 pounds. Good. Just the way it sits. So this new trans is, seems to be holding up for you? I mean, I got 30,000 on it now, <laughs> more than three, so it's working. And so do you have a setup inside? Uh, like yeah, I got a, I mean, this is like my one bay little shop. I got another box in here. That's like a huge shop in here though. Like, it's pretty small when you put a truck in it though. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I put a bigger, yeah. yeah. I got the... Oh, you got like a nice the, epic here. The epic, yeah. I love this color. This has got to be... It's pretty not... I, I mean, I'm a high-vis guy, but yeah. uh, I had a deal I couldn't refuse, man. But man. I do like this red as opposed to like the normal Mac red, yeah. like that little box and stuff. Yeah. I have a, a Maco box. That I, I ended up taking that one home. Oh, okay. Putting that one in the garage, and then this one's here. Gotcha. This one's way nicer than that one. <laughs> <laughs> but Goodness. I just got these guys, too. This was pretty nice. Jeez. I traded in my old ones and got the whole set. Look at that. You got like... So it's quarter, three eighths, and half. Inch. Correct, yeah. And this Man. is the new one too, where it's a whole metal body, I guess. Is I guess it? the old one wasn't, or something oh, like that. Got this another is another foam set here. Is that like a three eighths, or no, it's quarter inch? Yeah, quarter inch set, the standard. I'm okay. still trying to fill it all in though. Gotcha. Like, I try to get all the standard sockets, and they give me a little set like that. And I'm like, oh, now I gotta find the gaps, and it's irritating. I do mostly standard, so I have like this, the the shorts, mids, and longs. Okay. And so I do that with the this. Um, half inch drive too, and I'll do that over here eventually. Nice. I like how you have your socket rails going up and down as opposed to like. Well, this box has got so much more room in it, man. Like my Mac, Maco one, it had a, a rail in the middle of it. So okay. you had to like, there's no room to put all your sockets in. So this way, I mean, you have a ton of room yeah, doing it that that's way. that's really nice. You can see them all. Yeah. So you, do, you keep uh, these in here, even though. Uh... I have the power drawer. Oh, oh, instead of the yeah, truck. Of truck? Yeah, 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 because I'll lose it in the truck. Oh. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. honestly, I don't want to talk smack, but these have been temperamental. Like, this one's rebuilt, been rebuilt already. None of my Milwaukee stuff has gone bad. Really? Well, I've had one drill. I can't say everything, but yeah. one drill, and I've had a, no batteries have gone bad. They came loose a couple of times. Uh -huh. But other than that, I've had this one rebuilt twice. Jeez. And then I've got, um, I just got this back on Wednesday. This oh, one okay. just got rebuilt too. Huh. I love this gun, but I, I just, I don't know. Man. I want something that's going to work out there. It doesn't look like it's been through much use either. No, that's what I mean. They just gave it back to me. So they just kept the cone part oh, okay. and they, they replaced this whole thing, I gotcha, guess. Gotcha. Huh. I just got this back. Yeah, this Wednesday. So huh. a couple yeah, days ago. It, uh, hopefully it holds up. I like how big it, this area is though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like plenty of room for growth. Yes. <laughs> I'll get more. I actually like this light too. It runs off my uh, half inch batteries. Or my half inch gun batteries. I don't know. They're... White. I was like, yeah. is that a Walmart one or something? No, no, no. no. It's like, a, yeah. Holy cow. They're running a deal on I it. I've never so. seen white. Well, it doesn't stay white for long, man. <laughs> I mean, I've even cleaned them up, but. Goodness. And you have the snap on half inch? Yeah, this is their old one. Oh, they okay. have a new one, but this thing still works, so Does I'm not going to upgrade it yet. Plus, I have the Milwaukee stuff. Oh, wow. This is yeah. just mostly for like if I bring a truck here and I need more room and I don't want to run out to the truck every time to grab a tool. Gotcha, yeah. So I'll throw it in that, like. I'll grab the socket tray and throw them in that box oh, okay. with my uh, ratchets and stuff like that, what I think I'm gonna need for the job and just nice. kind of work out of that thing. That's cool. Right. Yeah, I'm starting to go with the foam. Yeah, I like it. I yeah, I mean, it's not completely full just because most of the stuff's out there too. This like, is kind of where the Mac stuff ends really. This, oh, okay. I don't have a dealer anymore. <laughs> it's just snap on now. Oh, yeah. I had a MacGyver a couple, like the ones like cut in half oh, and stuff. Yeah. I'll, do that with a I'll do that with a Husky though. I'm there not gonna, you go, yeah. Got more. Uh, this is just a cheap snap ring tool set. I got the high vis um, gauge set. Oh man, you got the whole set there. 
Yeah, the whatever the big one is for that. I got the two set in the service truck, and I got the big set in oh, here. Nice. Yeah. This was my first set. So when I was going to school, I did that whole snap-on deal oh, thing yeah. from from the school, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get all kinds of stuff. And I got a screwdriver set and a thing of thing of sockets, dude, yeah. for like paid them for five years or whatever. <laughs> and this is that. It's not like much in it. I mean, punches. Yeah, it. punches and stuff. Not much. A couple hammers. Yeah. You got a lot of room to grow. Yeah, well, that's nice. what I mean. I mean, if I took everything out of the service truck and put it in here, oh, man. it would, would be it. overfilling, <laughs> yeah. but I mostly work out of the yeah. truck. You know what I mean? So, so the, do you like these icon? Uh... Um, I'm hit and miss right now. I oh, got okay. them not that long ago, but I've had a couple of things slip on them. So, oh, really? so, I mean, they're nice when they're like, when they work yeah. and it's quick and easy adjustments and everything. And I didn't want to fork out the money for the big snap on right. one. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm going to try these things out. And I've had them slip on a couple of things, but huh. uh, they've worked also. So. And that's a the ball joint press. I've used it a couple times now, but on like lighter duty stuff. Okay. Thing came in handy though, man. It worked. Big like one. I said, it would. That's just like gas compression tester, torsion bar tool for uh, GM. All right. Yeah. The low pro power steering puller. I, I rebuild a couple of front ends on a like our company pickup trucks and stuff. This is just another Allen set from Capri. That's another wheel seal driving kit. So I guess you have to service your own truck or is it like under one? Oh yeah, 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 I service that thing oh, too, okay. yeah. I think this is just manuals, honestly. Yeah, okay, just yeah. manuals and stuff, but that's pretty much it in here. Oh, sweet. And I use that one just for, that thing stays empty. Does it? Yeah, and then, well, unless I just put stuff in there for working on a truck. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And you got a sweet setup here. I, I like it, man. It's it's a nice truck. Gosh, well, Jake, thank you so much for yeah, appreciate giving me a it, tour man. your truck and your box over there. No worries. Love it. I'm glad I made it out here, though. I was kind of iffy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. <laughs> the traffic a little late, but now the lighting terrible. gets it good with the, yeah. the box lights. Yeah, so you're good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on the hazards for you. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <That'd be cool. laughs> awesome. Gosh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next one. We'll see you.